Hey everybody, it's Anthony here on Edge Power Tools, and today we are uh, going to do a quick tutorial on uh, customizing your Gmail inbox. So basically, um, you've got a couple of options here, and what you're going to do is you're going to see that this is just the default way of viewing your inbox. It just has all your emails here. It has them in chronological order from when you received them, being the most recent up top, going down to older ones down the bottom. And you see I've got all sorts of stuff in here. This is um, this is kind of a catch-all account for me. This isn't one I use regularly. It's just kind of where a lot of junk goes um, and advertisements and things like that. So uh, you'll see I've got newsletters, things uh, think, think with Google. I've got uh, blogs that I subscribe to, social media. Um, ads. This is another blog here. So I've got all sorts of stuff here. Canva, things that I, things that I do use, but things that aren't like super important for me. So when you're in this default setting, you can easily change it by going to settings and configure inbox. When you click on setting configure inbox, you can choose to add some extra tabs here so that you have your primary inbox, which is going to be um, all of the messages that are sent directly to you from colleagues or from clients or uh, parents, students, things like that. Um, your social tab, if we enable that, is going to filter out all of your social media notifications, things from Twitter, from Facebook, from Pinterest, things like that. Promotions are going to be ads uh, from uh, companies uh, or just kind of enticing you to buy things. Updates are going to be um, confirmation, uh, receipts, bills, statements, things like that. Uh, and then forms are going to be uh, basically like discussion boards, online groups, uh, mailing lists that you belong to, um, things like that. So when I when I click all of them, I'm going to click save. You're going to see my inbox is going to change a little bit. It's not going to look the same. It's going to look similar, but not exactly the same. Now it's a little bit more um, uh, compressed. Whereas in my prim primary tab here, I have specific emails that are sent to me for the most part. Google, obviously, this is just security alert, um, saying as grants to my account, things like that, um, are not what I would, you know, they're not directly from people that I know necessarily, but it's from, uh, it's important information. Then my social tab has my Twitter stuff, promotions, has thing, ads, basically, things people want me to buy, updates. Um, these are like blog posts and things like that that I subscribe to and then forums. I don't belong to any forums, so there's nothing in there. Um, so that's one way to configure your inbox. And then another thing that you can do is actually you can go to settings and then click on settings again. And then when you do that, you can click on inbox here and it's going to give you some other options to do. So right now our inbox type is default. Well, what I can do is I can keep these tabs uh, I can keep those tabs. Those tabs will still kind of show up, uh, but it's going to show my everything, uh, everything uh, that's important first, and then everything else is going to show just a smaller amount of things there. Uh, and unread first is going to show me my unread messages first. Starred are going to show me my starred messages first, and then the one that I like the most and use the most across my Gmail accounts is the priority inbox. When you select primary a priority inbox, you um, have a lot of options here for how your email is displayed. So important and unread read are going to show up at the top. Then my starred messages are going to show next. Then I've got three and four empty. I can add in. Um, uh, I can add in. Um, other options here by going to more options and I can have specific labels show up I can have draft messages show up so that if I know that I've been working on something I can uh, work, access it quickly um, you can choose any label that you have already created there um, and then everything else shows up down on the bottom and then you can choose how many uh, items you want to see there as well so that's how you can kind of customize your inbox there are other things down here that you can set here to show markers or not show markers. That's going to marking showing it that an email Gmail is thinking that an email is important. Um, so that is the, what's going on there, um, and then some filter settings and things like that. For the most part, most people are just going to mess around with either priority inbox or default. Um, you can definitely mess around with the other things too. It's not going to delete anything. It's not going to destroy anything. Um, check it out and explore the different options and see if it's something that you find interesting or good. Hope you found that helpful and look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks.